Hello and welcome back to the Level 7 Games Podcast, where we, John and John, talk about literally anything. This guy here is a professional editor. Small tweener. Why the hell are French Canadians making my game? And who's that guy? Thomas Fancy? Game reviewer. How to make it through a disaster, you know? Son of a... So much blood. You want to hear some good news? For once... And this guy owns and operates Denver's best gaming stores, Level 7 Games. With four different kinds of oatmeal. And it's hot! Ah! If no one will listen. Ah! Ah! And we got something for everybody. I know all you kiddos out there love your damn video games, yeah? Yeah? Well, alrighty, let's get on with this. And every Thursday, we talk about pop culture, the gaming industries, and how they intertwine with our daily lives. Welcome back. Ladies and germs, today's episode is brought to you by Level 7 Games. We won't feed your children glass. On to John. This week on the Level 7 broadcast, uh, we're going to be talking about an eBay purchase that is pretty dang important. Uh-oh. Uh, some game games con m- Stuff. Gamescom. Gamescom. Oh my Gamescom. gosh. Gamescom. Keep wanting to just say like games.com or something. Gamescon. Right? Yeah, yeah. Gamescon would make way more sense. Mm. Like convention for games. Gamescon. Oh, yeah. But know. instead it's Gamescom. What the fuck? Okay, okay, keep going. Okay. And uh, <laughs> Gift. The... Some manga talk. Uh, some Dom... Dominaria United pre-release stuff. You got it. Moving on... <laughs> Uh, which is going to just carry right on over to uh, Lost Origins Pokemon stuff. True. That's true. And then our question of the week from last week and this week. So hang out till the end to find out what it is. What's the question of the week? You don't know, you fucking geek. Woo! Nailed it. Now we just need one of those like big shiny stars to fly by. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fuck! <laughs> the Reading Rainbow Crew! No! <laughs> Butterfly in the sky! <laughs> I can fly! <laughs> Not the innocent butterfly! The in the... <laughs> Jordy! Whatever, as long as my Reading Rainbow, like, singer chick is good. Is that the same lady from Ooh. Touched by an Angel? I can fly twice as high! Take a look, it's in a book, the reading rainbow. I can do anything. Dude, that song was tight. The beginning part. Just Oh, can you... dude, that beginning part was dope. I don't even know what that noise was. It had to just be like some sort of synthesizer. Some dude was just like, I, want... I always like to imagine, I don't know why, when I was a kid, I, I thought for some reason, I just like was like, oh, he must have wrote that song. So I don't know why I thought LeVar Burton oh. wrote <laughs> the song. Like, I thought he was like, he, you know, because I, I don't know. At that point, I also thought he was Jordy LaForge. Like already in time? Or yeah, dude. I was very time? confused. My mom was super into Star Trek. <laughs> and then I was also watching Reading Rainbow. And I was like, I was like wait a second. This dude is fucking amazing. And you know what? I wasn't wrong. I'm not, not then, not now. It's a very true statement. I don't think a truer statement could be uttered. Uh, you know, <laughs> I wanted to now. say something really <laughs> awful. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> uh, fantastic. But, but yeah, let's let's get right into this after that uh, <clears throat> very brief intro. Uh, he, eBay buys TCGPlayer.com. What? eBay bought TCGPlayer.com? Ooh. Wasn't? And if you don't know what TCGPlayer.com is, it's a website. Or you can go to price out what cards, like, market value is and all that kind of stuff. Right. So it's tradingcardgameplayer.com. So tcgplayer.com. And it's mm. it's essentially the biggest, like, online card market specifically for cards. So it is, you know, where eBay is the aggregate for all online auction type sites. This one is specifically the biggest for, like, um, cards, like trading card games, like Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh!, Dragon Ball, Magic the Gathering, and um, 
they actually just recently had purchased Channel Fireball, which is another big company, an online reseller. Um, Channel, F Channel Fireball used to also be part of the operation that ran the tournaments, like the big magic, um, I don't know, fucking tournaments. The, the big, like, <laughs> fucking <tournament. laughs> the GPs and all that stuff. Um, right. But they're not doing that anymore. Now that's going through DreamHack. <clears throat> But um, yeah, it's 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 interesting. So now eBay owns TCG Player, which owns Channel Fireball, and it's just like oh, it's just okay. like a fish eating a fish eating a fish, you know? Yeah. In the same it's like fish. a Russian doll. Yeah, it's love. Yeah. Uh, but pretty much wasn't eBay like their main source of information anyway? Uh, no, no. I mean, TCG Player is its own market like the market value that tcg player is is a tcg player market value so it is based oh, so on sales self, like, yeah. contained marketplace yes i've never thought of it like that before that's pretty trippy as hell so now ebay scoops up all those customers and so the question is are they going to keep things the same and own TCG Player and just like you know, uh, just add to the operations, try to grow that operation as is, or are they going to try to incorporate all of that market into just eBay? Um, which seems, mm. I feel like the first option is better because I think a lot of people who are selling on TCG Player are doing that because they don't want to deal with the eBay platform, right? And then if they prefer that specific card market platform, they'll just go to another card market platform there's a lot of other ones star city or something i don't know there's there's other there's other marketplaces uh, oh, i'm not okay. mtg goldfish is one that you can go to oh yeah 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 so um yeah so that's cool um I, I i don't know i don't know if it's good or bad we have a tcg player store we haven't really been using it for the last year or so but we were actually about to get it rolling again Oh. Um, I don't know if this is good or bad news yet for that. Mm, like I point. like eBay, but listing cards on eBay isn't um And then you really optimal. Gotta, like I feel like the specifics of card collecting also right. is just so much easier to maintain in a a spot where those people are. Right. Well not only that, but TCG has TCG player has the right database to actually be able to easily find the card that you're looking for that you're trying to list you know what i mean right whereas ebay is like put on your, your pc and then it's like here's forty thousand different options of like brand and fucking oh, yeah. vendor codes and the bullshit ads, the other yeah yeah yeah. yeah yeah so nah yeah that would suck hopefully they just leave it alone yeah i mean like i said i mean there is a there's a chance that they could make things better they can improve it so that's kind of my hope is that, you know, with more resources, they get better. Um, I will say TCG Player is a little bit better about supporting its sellers than eBay is. eBay is very much more buyer-friendly than seller-friendly, mm. um, which is, you know, a bummer because we sell on there. I mean, we also buy a lot of stuff, so it's nice when something goes wrong. You can be pretty sure that you can get get it taken care of but on the right. seller end if something goes wrong or you can you sense something weird you have to kind of like predetermine a situation people start asking you weird questions on on ebay like you know if somebody's asking hey can i get more pictures all right sure you know what i mean like that's that's a normal thing but if they're right. like how many times has the cart been open can you you know what i mean can you, have you send touched me a... it more than three times yeah in the I, last week? I, I can't even think of a good example right now i'm trying to think like uh, I don't. I don't know if if I'm un unhappy with the 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 sheen of the. You know what I mean? Like people just be start asking oddly specific questions where you're like, no, what are you, what are you talking about? That's when you're just like bail, bail, unlist, unlist, and you just relist it a month later. Let let somebody else deal with those people. There's just people who buy online that are very. I mean, I can't blame them, but they're they're so particular, and it's just hard to deal with them because you're like. It's the internet. I could send you pictures. I could explain things. But, yeah. but it's really, the description is only going to get so descriptive before you just have to, like, decide on it. Right. 
That's why I don't sell online. I hate it. At least in, in real life, I can be like, look at this. You like it? And people are like, yes, please. And I'm like, you betcha. You got it. Easy, you know. easy peasy. No, no, no nonsense. No, well, less no nonsense. No fuss. Uh, no bus for Gus? Yeah. I don't know who Gus is, but he gets no bus. Gus bus. Mm-hmm. Sorry. <laughs> From the bench warmers. Uh, that just, that was random. Uh, you don't Never seen that movie. Have you I, ever I, seen the bench warmers? I, I know of it. I am aware of it, but I've never seen it. It's okay. Okay. Uh, I feel like it got a lot of a lot of credit there for a while, but I just watched it again recently, and I was like, you know what? This is a good comedy movie. Not like crazy good. Though. Not a great one. It's yeah. no Tropic Thunder. Oh God, Tropic Thunder. That movie. Oh, fuck. That movie's amazing. That did was, you, oh, that was so good. So did you hear about this canceled Jamie Foxx movie? Canceled Jamie Foxx movie? So there's this a Jamie Foxx movie called, like, All-Star Weekend or something. And, like, Jamie Foxx was supposed to, like, play a white cop or something. And then Robert Downey Jr. was going to, like, play a Mexican dude or something. <laughs> I don't know. It was supposed to just have all it's these, like... It's just supposed to be overly ridiculous ex- on ex- purpose. Ex- exactly. But I guess they, they, they pulled it, um... You know, for one reason or another. But, yeah, that it sounded like it was going down that really over-the-top, like, Damn, no no holds barred, right. fucking Tropic Thunder sense of humor. Man, I miss those kind of movies. They, they used to be a lot more uh, plentiful, I believe. I, I don't know. Like, yes and no. I, I'm trying to think, like... Because, yeah, if you think about, like, all the really good kind of raunchy comedies oh yeah like all the like, national lampoon stuff yeah like, do they even make that anymore can they i don't know it's like <laughs> that's like the girls gone wild stuff i'm sure it exists somewhere still but not the real thing <laughs> yeah i don't know hmm yes right i don't know i mean We've okay. got to find out. Let's find out what's up. What's what's up with National Lampoons? I mean, we have <laughs> we have the sources. I feel like that was just a way too deep dive into my brain for a second. Sorry about that. <laughs> Get up, climb out of there and wipe <laughs> off. <laughs> I mean, whatever, dude. I mean, you ain't wrong. Uh, okay, okay. It was a magazine, Harvard Lampoon. Oh yeah, it was Whoa. a magazine first. That's weird. Because they started doing like those 70s like political humor that was like so witty and fun. Really? And then I, it turned into, you know. Just some goofy bullshit? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it looks like they're not doing shit anymore. Doing stuff. They're not doing stuff anymore. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. I would have been extremely shocked if there were still National Lampoon movies. Rest in pieces, National Lampoon. Well, you they just mostly started... suck. Yeah. They've made so many damn movies. <laughs> Anyhow. But, I mean, all of those movies were basically just, like, four dudes, like, Go from ahead. the distance watching a girl in a bikini with three binoculars. Like, every single one of those movies was identical. Where they're like, whoa! Right? And Yeah, it's yeah. Just stupid. We need to figure like... out how to trick her into having sex with us. Whoa! That's every one of those movies. And then they would, like, fuck up for, like, Two hours and then accidentally slip and fall and oh yeah. Do you remember like the on, uh, like a supermodel instead? Exactly, yeah. exactly. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. The original chick they were interested in would like shun them, and but she would get hit by a car and die. Yeah. But then they would just like get to rail like sixteen nurses or something, and that's National Lampoons. That's their humor. <laughs> They're like, good. I can't believe she rejected me. Son of a bitch. <laughs> and all. Yeah, exactly. Just because I'm her stepbrother. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's that's where all that's what National Lampoon's making now. Stepbrother porn. <laughs> that makes exactly sense. That's exactly where the step sibling <laughs> stuff came from. It's the National Lampoon people. You guys gotta <laughs> fucking cut it out. <laughs> fucking National Lampoon. You fucks. Ah. You thought you could hide forever with your sister stuck in the dryer nonsense. Get out of here. Who gets stuck in that many coffee tables? Who? I mean, they're kind of sticky. <laughs> <laughs> they are now. <laughs> I'm just glad you're here. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, I wish you would leave. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. Fine. Uh, uh, um, yeah. Okay. Well, what? <laughs> what? What the fuck? How did we get there? 
National oh, Lampoon. Man. That took a while, but I'm sure it'll be the internet's next sensation of a film theory that just busted the universe or something. Oh, that we just we just unveiled the truth. The man behind the curtain. The yeah. wizard isn't who you fucking think he is. Yeah, yeah it's Leslie. Oh. It's Leslie Nielsen's corpse strung up in a closet. <laughs> oh, God. Fucking just filming porn parodies. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me Shirley. You know what I mean? They just oh, no. tape a voice box to him. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> it's a horrifying image. <laughs> but it's hilarious. I miss Leslie Nielsen. I would, I'd go to see that. <laughs> 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 I'd pay if they did like a theater thing and they just had his body just <laughs> just, just dance prancing around during like one of the one of the fucking Beverly or what was the I'm trying to oh. Naked Gun yeah oh yes the Naked Gun series which one are you thinking of I was trying to think of a Weekend at Bernie's or something like that no well I don't think that was Leslie Nielsen no but that'd be like oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Remake oh yeah yeah, yeah. With... starring Leslie Nielsen it's there corpse. Because you, <laughs> you know they won't make it unless it's a remake or something. Yeah, honestly, then he wouldn't be taking the role of a dead guy because he is a dead guy. And so there would also be diversity. They would be representing all dead people. That's right. Who, who are to tell us that zombie actors can't be real zombies? Mm. Get paid after you're dead? I kind of like where this is going. <laughs> this is kind of a hilarious premise, actually. It's like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, slow down. So what you're saying is zombies are people, too. Fuck yeah, zombies are people, wait, too. Wait, 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 wait. Dead people are dead people, too. Yeah. Wait, dead people are people. Yep. Yeah, yeah, there you go. 100%. There you have it. Dead people are people, too. Not even if they're not zombies. True. True, they just don't have a voice if they're not zombies. Oh, they have the least amount of voice. They literally are dead. We have to fight for them. Nobody can protect them. Not a soul. They have no soul. <laughs> it's gone. It's either, it's probably in hell. Oh, fucking hell yeah. Let's be is. honest, it's definitely in hell. <laughs> Think of a person who's dead, it's their soul's in hell. It just at yeah. least over a couple of things. <laughs> Somebody's like, oh, 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 oh grandma. <laughs> <laughs> It's like I knew he was gonna say something awful, and I still followed along. Simon didn't say. <laughs> Simon says, "Visualize your dead grandparent oh, who's in hell." <laughs> oh no, that's not nice. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's not, that's not no. Nice. I love all grandparents, Games? except for the ones. In hell. <laughs> I don't know who they are, but if they're probably not good people, they're probably not good grandparents. Maybe. <laughs> Can you be a you good? You don't know. Could you be? You could be a good grandparent. Still go to hell. Oh hell yeah, you can. Okay. What you talking about? All right, fuck it. All <laughs> grandparents win. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I don't, that's. I'm just, done. That's I'm just done. Such you a can. Bombshell. There's not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just remember, dead people are people too. That's true. Okay, and I think all zombies should be represented by corpses of. People, we could get paid to have our family members dug out of the ground and strung up, and they could animatronic them. Oh no! Five we nights could, at Freddy's, this shit. Exactly, and they just, and then, and then not only that, but they're, you know, they're they're giving back to the dead. They're not just taking from them. That's right. I mean, really. Giving a, them back their debt they left. That's right. That's right. They could fucking. Ma. <laughs> that's good. Yeah. That's, it's like, thanks for leaving me with your fucking funeral bill. Work it off, corpse. <laughs> Go get some. <laughs> you know how many damn zombie video games there are? Go do motion capture or something. Right, exactly. Then eventually it turns into sex work, obviously. I mean, Where that's every just... every career leads. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a single career that has people working in it that is not having sex. Mm, true. I just can't wait till they have Neuralink and it's just your your robotic spine walking around just how oh, I'm still alive. I can feel this is feeling I am alive. Yeah. So anyhow, what's next? I'm looking forward to all the free coffee at that point. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They'll be like, oh, this dude's like 7,000 years old. Yeah. He can have coffee. <laughs> He's fine. <laughs> but uh, no, uh, Gamescom. 
He has dimension <laughs> dementia. <laughs> dimension dementia. <laughs> <laughs> Multi-dimension dementia. Yep. Dimensional dementia. I'm trying to think of the demi-dimension dimensional. Dimensional. Harold always was a badass. He could just. I could see that happening. Hmm. Rexed in peace. Sorry, I cut you off there. I, I was thinking okay. about dimensional dementia. Yeah, which <laughs> t- just destroyed my brain again. <laughs> like, dang it. Yeah, y'all. I'm starting to catch up to myself. But there was a couple of cool stuff, I think, happened at Gamescom. Nothing, like, drastically exciting, but cool stuff. Okay, what was uh, it? Dune yeah. is going to be getting a game. Ooh, yeah. That's... Which... <laughs> it's just, you just watch the sand blow around. Yeah. Okay. And, you know, collect that moisture. Which Actually, people wear. would play that. They'd be like, game of the year. It's so beautiful watching the sand particles land in different ways. I mean, they did that shit for Journey. That, that game sucked, too. Yeah. I did not like that. Remember when games were like, just everybody was like, this game's good, and it was shitty? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that kept happening, happening a lot. Yeah, where you're like, this is barely a game. This is just a fucking, this like, is just what? a movie, a bad CG movie. Yeah. We're like, yeah, but we didn't really want to animate, so. Yeah. We didn't want it to be, we didn't want it to be a game. We yeah. didn't want you to have to play it. All right. That felt like a low blow, but I like it. It was good. Always. Uh, another cool thing that they showed was that, uh, gameplay on Callisto Protocol. Mm. Mm. I didn't get to see it. I oh, watch you haven't it. watched it yet? No. Okay. I didn't even know Gamescom was happening. I somehow missed it completely. I don't think most people did. It just kind of like showed Is up. Gamescom the one that's in Germany? I don't know. I'm pretty sure. I didn't even think to see where it was or anything like that. I was just trying to find Gamescom the game. 2022. Let's see here. Top 10 new games of Gamescom. With me, your host, Lil Ricky. Damn, Lil Ricky. Damn, what's How you up? got so many jobs? Damn, Lil Ricky, you everywhere, bro. <laughs> it's like Mrs. Rabbit. Yeah. Um. Well, that's cool. I see you, Peppa Pig. Mrs. Rabbit working everywhere. Games it's, it's calm. Like, can't happen. That doesn't work at all. Yeah, it's in Cologne. It's in Germany. We'll get back to Yeah, that. the gaming culture is so nice. It makes me feel so sweet on my nipples. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I play, <laughs> whenever I play Journey, I take a journey with my nipples. Miss <laughs> Un. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why. That's just where. That's just. Right. You know, it's, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Sonic Frontiers. <laughs> That's just Gamescom. It's just a guy. It's <laughs> yeah. just like, hi, everybody. Hey. It is Ashvin. <laughs> and they're like, hi, Shvin. He's like, hello. Hello. <laughs> Anyhow, okay, I'm not going to keep going. It's just going to get worse. Oh, my gosh. Uh, <laughs> and they showed a little, like a, a little bit of gameplay, I think, from uh, Dead Island 2, oh. which is actually going to be a thing now. Oh, well, that's good. Did they actually have a, fu- uh, a real date for it? I think. Including news from Dead Island so... 2. Check out every announcement. Every single announcement. <laughs> All of them that we felt or were paid enough Doom to talk about. Doom Awakening. Sony reveals DualSense Edge. Oh, yeah, they're oh, doing a, yeah. an Elite controller. I want that. Yeah. Really, really bad. Callisto Protocol. Protocol. I didn't know I said Protocol. <laughs> Lords of the Fallen gets a new title in the trailer. So, Lords of the Fallen was a game that came out after Dark Souls released, and it was a Soulsborn. It was like the first Soulsborn clone that was like the marketing department for that game was like, it's like Dark Souls. And everybody's like, oh, <laughs> like, oh, you, you know, you didn't. And you so, what now? <laughs> they, they dropped it, and I remember it was pretty good, but there was a. Uh, I don't know. It just wasn't. It wasn't the same. It was way more linear. It uh, it was difficult for, for the wrong reasons. Like they made bosses like multi staged, and there was like certain um, moves you couldn't like dodge and oh, stuff. So, so it was a lot more cinematic in the fights. Yeah, exactly. And then there was a lot more like kind of you had to like blow things up. So it was almost like I don't know environmentally puzzly in some ways. Kinda that was like quick time event. 
feeling? Uh, not so much like that. Like, oh, I got to get him to run into the pillars to blow up. But mm. it's kind of hard to. I, again, I haven't played this game in over a decade, but I just remember that it was like, okay, this game is like Dark Souls, but it is the first example of why Dark Souls is so special. Mm. Because it just didn't pull it off. It missed so many different elements that those games fucking smash out of the park every time. So it was it was the first time I was like, oh man, this is going to be a thing. There's going to be a lot of bad Souls-born clones. So it was like a... Have there been a lot though? There have been a lot. Yeah. There have been a lot. I mean, I don't know that they're all bad necessarily. I guess it's all about how you kind of interpret it. But there was like the Jedi one. Fallen Order. Oh, yeah. There was uh, Scarlet Nexus, which was the Bandai like anime one. There was, mm. I'm trying to think of, I, I mean, a million different indie titles. There's some, like Mortal Shell. There's the Salt and Sanctuaries, oh, yeah. all the 2D ones that were kind of like in that style. I was trying to think of Mortal Shell. Like, I know I played one of them for a bit. Yeah, that was the one that, we played over here. Yeah. But then we were like, this is boring. A little bit. Like, it was <laughs> fun for a bit. And then you just, you were good at it. You're like, I should just play Dark Souls. <laughs> You're like, oh, I'm kind of done now, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, but but anyhow, it, it, it definitely like spawned a, uh, you know, a genre, kind of like a stylistic genre of games. Because it's like, there's always been checkpoints. There's always been going back, like going back to get your blood stained to like recoup your souls or whatever. Mm. Like that's always been in Diablo. Like, that's not, like, a new feature. Oh, yeah. So it's, like, Dark Souls had a... <clears throat> it was more of, like, a pattern, I think, what made it popular. Not not that it really... Because what did it introduce that was new? I think just its difficulty, right? I mean, I, I, kind of. The, the difficulty was essentially, like, the first, the first thing you notice, I think. And then mm. everything is buried and hidden underneath... It. But, I mean, the game itself, like, the, I think the style of action game is more about, like, it's like a pattern style, right? Right, right. Um, where it's like, okay, you have your, your main checkpoint, and there may be, like, an open world style, but then there's checkpoints throughout, and eventually you can spawn back and forth, but then there's, like, you have to fight your way through to the next checkpoint, fight your way back. I don't know. I don't know how to explain, like, how how is a Soulsborne different than, is it the repetition? Like, every game has that. Like, how many times did you have to fight up the fucking, uh, what was it, Goro Mountain or whatever, when you get smashed by the rocks in Zelda? It's like, oh, everything yeah, yeah. is checkpoint to checkpoint. That's how everything always works. But it's like, for some reason, maybe it's because the enemies respawn. There's always, like, something in between. The amount of... <clears throat> Maybe just the amount of enemies. Right. I uh, think it really was just because at that point, games were getting real ba really bad about hand-holding. They were so bad. And I think that was like... I don't know. I feel like that was kind of them being like, oh, fuck this industry bullshit of me holding your hand through this stuff. And that's, I think, really what got people looking at it like, oh, yeah, you used to have to figure it out. Yeah, there is something to be said about, like, Skyward Sword when you're playing that and it's just like, hey, stopping you in the middle of boss battles six times to be like, that's the enemy. And you're like, I fucking know. It's trying to murder me. I know. <laughs> um, Start fighting and you hit the obviously giant red spot and they're like, hey, that's its weak spot. And you're like, I know. <laughs> like, that's why I shot it, dick. Get out of here. I don't know, dude. I just... Yeah, maybe it is just difficulty. I mean, again, there, there's something to be said about, like, the pattern that Dark Souls has um, of, like, especially, like, kind of the the boss, the, the mm. focus on bosses. Yeah. Whereas, I don't know, maybe maybe we lost that at some point where bosses became, like, kind of this Crash Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot, <laughs> Crash Bandicoot, like, style, like, in all the action games, it was almost like... When you're in Resident Evil, punching boulders. Yeah, I don't know, weird stuff. Getting like through shit like that. Right, right, right. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, the fact that you have all the options you do. But then you play, like, Sekiro, and that game is like, just get, get, get good. I hate being that person, but 
that game is fucking get good the game. Like, like fuck that game. <laughs> never play that game again. It's amazing. It's beautiful. It's one of a kind. I'll never touch it again. It's awful. I fucking hate it. <laughs> it's garbage. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Makes perfect sense. Speaking of garbage, uh. we carry manga now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> get it? Damn. Uh, no, I mean, seriously. Uh, I like manga. I don't read a whole lot of it, but I intend on it. I got I got the uh, first issue of Demon Slayer because there's a whole bunch of bub hubbub about this hubbub. here Slayer of Demons mm. book. This here book of Demon Slayers, and uh, you know uh, I like me some Berserk. And now Ooh. that we've got these um, these here books, I'm gonna start trying to read some of them. So I got that. I think last week I. I showed the the Dark Souls book that I got, right? Oh, yeah. So we got the rest of the books in. So we have, I think, up at the North Store at least, um, three full bookshelves just of manga and, like, other stuff. There's, like, some um, Junji Ito coloring books. He's oh, okay. the he's the horror writer, dude. He's the hor- the guy who draws oh. all, like, the crazy, like, fucking slug oh. lady mouth. yeah. Yeah, he just dra- draws all that insane fucking horror stuff. Like the real scratchy kind yeah, of... Yep, yeah. yep. But, uh, yeah, we have coloring books of his art. That's pretty awesome. Which is sick. <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, we've been ordering a lot of stuff. You know what I want to look for, honestly? And, and I mean, like, honestly, if you have any suggestions, audience members and friends, please give us your comments because we'd love to. But here's what I'm thinking. You ready? Yes. Far side books... Calvin and Hobbes. Oh. You know what I mean? Like that stuff Get, too. Get like classic American comics as well. Yeah, dude. Like, I mean, uh, the I mean, compilations of Farside and Those are Calvin so and good. Hobbes and like. Even uh, like the Garfield ones. Some Shel Silverstein maybe. Who? Shel Silverstein. I don't know if I know that one. Really? Shel. You would fucking love Shel Silverstein. One hundred percent, you would love Shel Silverstein. He, he has, I don't know, maybe five books of just these thick ass books of poems. Oh, I've seen them. I've never read them though. Yeah, and all the poems are like kind of smart ass, and you know what I mean. Like it's from like a kid's perspective, but it's like, what happened to the huh. snowman who wanted to live in the summer? You know what I mean? And it's all these like. Different right. juxtapositions and stuff like that, but yeah, no, I mean he's he's a good he's especially kids poems because you can read like two of them to the kid a night, the kid of your choice. I know you only like one per night. You have to like switch off your it's love. True. It's true. You're like, sorry, boy, tonight's not your night. Your sister gets a hug. You get the whipping. <laughs> um, <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> uh, I'm watching your family on cameras oh, that, that I've installed. But anyhow, uh, yeah, yeah, these are great books. If you see them, possibly at level seven games, wink, wink, uh, in the near future, you should definitely swoop them up. But I mean, you're at fucking. You, I was do you gonna s- say yeah, yeah? I'll definitely grab one. I think you would really like them. I should have one. I'll show you, and you can. We can read a book together. Yes. You can read. I'll read you. Some, I'll read you some poems. You can tell me what you think. <laughs> You just sit down right there, close your eyes, I'm gonna need try to visualize my words. I'm going to need a nice cold drink. Mm, get you some lemonade. <laughs> Sit on the porch, enjoy yourself some wind chimes, son. <laughs> <coughs> Are we going to get like a, we thought about getting like the Pokemon ones. We do have some of the Pokemon ones. Oh, we do? Yeah. Those ones are fucking crazy. I think I read the first five of those back in the day. Really? And they yeah, were, we uh, have. I don't know which books we have, but we did get some Pokemon. And I remember at one point you like finally see a Scyther. I was like, "Fuck yeah, Scyther! He's one of my favorites." And then I was like, "Sweet, he's gonna do a fight!" And he cut a Pokemon in half. Oh, I can't remember what it was like a Poliwag or something. I, it was something that was like. And you're like, "Dear God, ah, mommy, I don't like these Pokemon." <laughs> I was just not. I was not prepared for that at all. Yeah, we got some of the newer ones, I think. But, I mean, I would like to get some of the classic ones. There's just so much stuff. This website is just... I mean, books are just cool. Books are amazing. And it's like, there's all these fucking just cool, weird books all over the place. I'm just, god dang it, I want all of these. And there's like six books for everything you like. Oh, that reminds me that Romero is actually doing a book. 
or writing a book about his uh, side of the story for like his time with Doom and Quake and all that stuff, and mm-hmm. then also about his ventures afterwards. John Romero? Yeah. Oh, okay. I think it's called Doom Guy First Person Perspective. It's an awful name. It's kind of hard to remember. I'm not even sure if I got it right, but... I mean, I'm excited. And unfortunately, I couldn't get the pre-order on Amazon. So if you didn't know about it until now, I don't think you can either. Right. Hold uh, on. Let's see if we can order it. <laughs> hold on. I was going to say, if you could do it, fuck it, do it. <laughs> let's see. Um, what the hell is the name of the... Okay, here we go. Let's see. I'm going to log in. Oh. Kenny, they call me Kenny Login. Sweet. Because I like to log in. You know, you get it? Yeah, yeah. See what I'm doing I'm, there? I'm, I'm, I'm tracking. Do I'm you tracking. smell what I'm shitting? <laughs> Unfor- uh, what is that? It's shit. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's literal. Yeah, it's a problem. It's a problem. I don't know how to stop. Um, Just stop doing I, that I, thing you're doing, boy. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay, let's see here. What's it called? Something Doom Guy. Doom Guy. Doom guy first person. Oh, perspective. I typed it wrong. <gasps> That's it right there. First person perspective. No way. Can you order some of those? <laughs> I don't know. No. I was going to say. They don't even have any on order. I actually, So it yeah. says it comes out in 2023. So yes. I might be able to order them. We can... Uh, so I didn't even think of that. I just went straight to Romero's website where they're still for sale. Oh, okay. Well, then, yeah. Fucking do that. Yeah, and, uh, absolutely. But they're $30, which I was like, oh, that's actually really good. And then they're like, oh, what do you want him to write in there? And they're like, oh... You could personalize it because he's gonna sign each one too. <laughs> Just have him write yeah, something like, really like, "I love you, John Beecham. I want to <laughs> be with you forever. Please have my babies." <laughs> like, and see if he'll do suck it. Suck your dad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Just <laughs> 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 yeah, you That's went too up. far. Sorry, sorry. No, uh, he'll never write anything for you he's now. He's not gonna. He's do watching this right now. now. I'm so sorry. He's just at home, girl. just I, like. I, I, yeah, I didn't mean they're to definitely hurt. not getting a personalized message. <laughs> I don't know why he's jerking <laughs> off in this scenario, but damn it, <laughs> son of a bitch! I knew it. So now we carry these. Uh, we're gonna start carrying these PlayStation controllers. <laughs> but yeah, it ends up being fifty dollars to get it sent from Ireland. So he's from Ireland. Yeah, that's where he works now. Uh, they move. Him and his wife moved to Ireland after. That Wait, he's not from there. Ireland? Mm-mm. He's a phony? A phony? He's a phony Irish? What? He's been there for a while now. I think he's kind of oh, so you're it, right? So he's Irish now. I guess? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Irish-American? Yeah. And if you ever come back, we'll kill you! Oh, gosh! <laughs> <laughs> I think um, you're taking it too personally. Yeah, yeah. You abandon her? Yeah. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so we got these PS2 controllers now. <laughs> and also, <no. laughs> I'm, just playing, I'm sorry. No, uh, so we just recently found out retro, which fighters. you already knew apparently. Retro I fighters. I'm sorry, I didn't even think to bring it up. Here. Yeah, retro fighters has PS. They're they're PlayStation. It does PS1, PS2, and PS3. And and the Switch Mini. Oh, really? Yeah. And they'll, they'll work with the Switch too. Yeah, it does work with the Switch too. But yeah, they're wireless controllers that work with all of those consoles, and they're like forty-five bucks. And we're gonna order a bunch of them, and then everybody's gonna celebrate. There's and a- then the Ewoks will show up, and we'll all we'll be like, and then we'll finally eat Luke Skywalker. I was gonna say, but we're roasting somebody. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't stopping. <laughs> Jeez, C three PO get control. I don't know. This whole situation's out of. Uh, goddamn. <laughs> yes, you're right. C-3PO has really let this situation get out of hand. He's the one in charge. Yeah, exactly. Oh, 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 oh. He's just the Krillin of the Star Wars universe. No, Sucks. don't make that comparison. He is. I still like Krillin. Do you haven't, uh, dude, if you saw the Dragon Ball movie, they just fucking rag on Krillin so oh, hard. Like, not my boy. But, but. I don't want to say nothing. Are you going to see that movie? You're not going to see that what? movie. I didn't even know there's a movie. It's like in theaters. Oh! The new Dragon Ball movie. What is it called? Superhero? Dragon Ball Superhero, I think is what it's called. Hold on. Dra- well, it's Dragon Ball. <laughs> Dragon Ball Super... Movie. Movie. 
Super Yeah, it's sub. called it's Superhero. Movie. Yep, yep, I'm right. Dragon Ball Super Superhero. Anyhow, it's, um, the plot revolves around Gohan and Piccolo. Last time on Dragon Ball Super, Vegeta and Goku are off-planet having a tournament of their own with Beerus. Who ate all my rice balls? On Earth, Piccolo <laughs> is training Little Pan until... <laughs> Stop shitting in the garden. <laughs> he shits in the garden. Um, no, anyhow, it's a power uh, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, it's like a, it's like a whole callback to uh, Dragon Ball. No, Dragon Ball, and then also Dragon Ball Z. They kind of combine a Dragon Ball villain and a Dragon Ball Z villain. Oh, kind of team up, kind of ish, and then you know they have to fight without Goku and and Vegeta. See. Which is super cool, and there's some cool stuff that happens, and there's some old characters that are brought back. Krillin's a little bitch. Um, no, he's not. He ain't that. And you get to see Gohan be fucking cool, which hasn't happened since goddamn Cell Saga. Shit, that was back in the day. Yeah, that was where I stopped. That's where everybody stopped because you're like, oh, why did they stop making Gohan cool? Yeah, probably. Because you were like, oh, shit, Gohan's the man. He finally is the man. And then they're like, ah, Boo's here. Go, go, Goku's back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was like, oh, sleeping or dang something. Dang it. Yeah Goku, <laughs> yeah, Goku was taking a shit. Oh, I didn't know I was going for so long. I, I just take a ice cream. I just took a shit at King Kai's planet. <laughs> it made my butt so strong. My anus. I had to do Kegels. I had to do Kegels on the King Kai planet. Me and the... And then you me. gotta get the flashback. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it's just him and the, the little monkey. What's the monkey's name? Skittles or something? I can't remember. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. What's the monkey's name? Monkey. It's like... It's we like, need a writing deal like, for Dragon Ball, apparently. Yeah, dude. We're fucking super smart. What's this monkey's name? I can't remember. What is the monkey in DBZ called? Not that great Not ape. Not the great you ape. Fucking get Google. out of here. <laughs> you son of a oh bitch. Oh, my God. These people. Okay. <sighs> what? Well, that's it. I'm out of here. I was going to say, yeah, that just drives me crazy. See a I picture. Like, I just want to know. Bubbles. It's bubbles. bubbles. I was close. I said you Skittles. Were, you were really close. I had no clue whatsoever, so good on you. Yeah. Yeah, I like me some DBZ, my guy. Hell yeah. But anyhow, that movie was tight. Uh, everybody should see it. You should um, abandon your family as soon as possible to go see it. Like, do what you have to do. Um <laughs> Okay. Leave, leave your kids in the car. I don't care. <laughs> Imagine if I really did just fucking leave. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of this. Bo- wait, wait. Hey, there's a there's a showing. There's a showing right now. Right. Oh, 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 God. I don't want to miss the trailer. <laughs> the tra- I miss the train. Um, <laughs> if I miss the train, I miss my yeah, evening. Dragon Ball Z Super or Dragon Ball Super movie is was last week at least. I don't know what it is now. The number one movie in America. No, it's not. Dude, I swear. Top Gun is still, right? No. <laughs> no. What you talking about? No, Top Gun. Get the hell out of here. That was like four months ago, Top Dude, Gun. Dude, it's still running. Oh, my God. Because it's it's like killing it records-wise. It, I mean, it's I think probably... It, it actually just surpassed Endgame. I mean, yes, you're probably right that it's made a shit ton of money. However, it... it yeah, uh, shattering in two point one. Quiet. Yeah, yeah, everything we looked. At. It it definitely was the number one movie in America for a minute. This no, last weekend. I don't believe you. Uh, <laughs> uh, number one. Stats or it isn't real. Fine, I'll find it. Hold on, let's see. Well, while you're trying to, f- well, next takes week. number one spot at global box office with thirty two million dollar debut. Global. Get the hell out of here. Okay, you let's see, look up American. America. Let's, see, let's look at American. I don't know if it all came out the same day, did it? Soccer is more globally liked also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> U.S. release. Let's see. Number one at North American box office. Get out of my fucking <laughs> face. For two minutes look until this. somebody bought No, bitch, it doesn't matter, dude. Tickets. Dude, it beat out the Idris Elba movie. There was an Idris Elba God, do you even fucking listen to the internet? <laughs> no. New releases it's like Idris Elba's Beast and mainstays like Be- Brad Pitt's Bullet Train and Bu- Tom Cruise's Maverick. It no! beat Maverick. Yeah, get out of My here. Boy. Dragon Ball Goku shit on Maverick, bro. What about DC's League of Super Pets? How did that do? 
Super, really good, actually. Like, yeah, wow. dude, that was number two, second to Dragon Ball. Seriously? <laughs> no, nobody cares about that movie. That's <laughs> like, why? Why would you do that to yeah. us? But anyhow, that movie was tight, and you're missing out. All right, sweet. I mean, I'm going to watch some more Dragon Ball. It's been so freaking long. I probably wouldn't know, like, 80% of the characters now. Yes, you would, because this movie is just the characters you know. It's Piccolo and Gohan and Krillin. Seriously? And, yeah, it's tight. And Shit. it doesn't, and, and it yeah, features I'm... some of the other ones, like you see Beerus and, some, you know, Weiss and stuff, but they're, like, off-planet being goofballs. Mm. And then all the all the characters you know and love are just chilling. Can we just get another Game Boy Advance game now? Yes. The fourth one. Yeah. The Goku Legacy ones, I think. Mm-hmm. Keep going. Aren't there, there's three of them now. Don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> they make a fourth one. <laughs> it would dominate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, yeah. So, so, speaking of dominating, John just gave me this fucking awesome card. Uh, Balthor the Defiled. Yeah. I don't know if you know about that guy. We could Eventually, he might be able to go... But anyhow, he's a he's a, a dwarf. I'm gonna I'm gonna re- so so this guy likes dwarfs. If you I didn't know, like dwarfs. He's a dwarf, I'm a dwarf lord. lord. Um, this is a dwarf lord. I'm just trying to show that I can't like. It's actually a minions lord because you have minions. All yeah. minions get plus one plus one. But he's a cool dwarf. He's a zombie dwarf. And if you exile him, each player returns all creature cards that are black or red from their graveyard to the battlefield. So you get all these black and red creature cards and you dump them into your graveyard and then you yeah. kill him and then they all psh, pop onto the field and then you win these yup that's freaking cool now I really do want to make a red black red black could be fun I mean that's it's it's tough cause yeah there's a ton of dwarfs in red there's some in white there's very few in black though oh yeah there's like three I yeah. think it's crazy but, oh, well, speaking of magic cards. Yes. Brought that up for a reason, I swear. Because mm-hmm. uh, we also got these secret layers in recently, yes? Well, we did We did get some, but, I mean, uh, I'm not selling them. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they ah. mine, though. Yeah, for real. I just, well, we I ordered some in uh, of various ones. I ordered a few of each just just to have them um, just in case. So like there was there was one so I showed you those the gildis or the gildis. Oh the the, the gild the gold the gilded foil foil um Atraxa. Yeah. So like that secret layer came with and they don't tell you, but in each secret layer they kind of do like a little bonus, like a little surprise. Oh. So in that one they did these full art sliver cards. Oh. So Every, slivers, if you're not aware, is a type of creature in Magic the Gathering. And a lot of people, um, slivers have been a very popular commander deck for a very long time. Um, I mean, so people want, it's the only way to get extended foil versions of those cards is in that secret lair. Damn. And there's like a $250, $300 sliver hive you can get out of there. So. Jeez. So I buy them just because you never know, right? Um, what what the hell? You never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> Mom always told me that I should shut up. Okay. Sorry, Jenny. Jenny, <laughs> I'm hungry. I think I have hypoglycemia. <laughs> Jenny. Um. But yeah, in the same vein, uh, Demoria United. Dominaria. Dominaria. Sorry. Dang. I was like, I said that so wrong. Demor- Demoria. Hey, Demoria, that's my that's my cousin's name. Yo, Demoria. Yo. You know what I mean? She's like, hey, what you call me? Demoria for? They call me Dami up in there. And I'm like, hey. hey. She's like, hey. And I'm like, hey. Anyhow, so <laughs> Dominaria exactly. United pre-release is in two weeks. It's the week of the second and the third Mm. And the fourth. Um, so on that Friday, the second, we will be having a pre-release um, event at our North store and then also at the Kipling store in Lakewood. Ooh. And then on Saturday and Sunday, we'll be doing something at Lakewood. But on Saturday, 
Um, the third is actually the one year anniversary of the North Store opening, so we're doing a swap meet up there. September third. September third. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Now I see why Charlie wanted me to cover for him. Damn it. <laughs> did, did you say yes? Yeah, I did. You coward. <laughs> I don't know how that relates, but anyhow. Oh, no, it's because he's going to NDK. Oh, that makes sense. But also, he's a bitch. You heard me, Charlie. Oh. He knows. He knows. Anyhow, I love you, so... I don't. <laughs> I love you a lot. But anyhow, yeah, so... Uh, so, yeah, that weekend, there's actually a lot of stuff going on for us. But, yeah, Dominary United should have a big pre-release. They're actually giving us collector, booster, collector boosters this time around Ooh. for pre-release. We'll have a ton of set Hell boosters yeah. and draft boosters available. So it should be a good set. I mean, there's a lot of good cards that have been revealed so far. And then in the collector boosters, they're doing that whole Legends um, release where you, you have a chance to pull an original Legends card, which oh, is yeah. which is sweet because, re- I mean, shit, recently somebody actually sold us a Tabernacle, um, which is a really, probably the most expensive card out of that set. Um, it's like a $3,800 card. Woo! But you could pull one, potentially, oh, out of damn. the pack. So, I mean, it's kind of cool. That's um, pretty awesome. Yeah, and then, so this week, though, is actually the Pokemon pre-release for Lost Origins, um, which we'll be doing on Sunday at the uh, North Store up on 84th. Um, that one's actually already pre-sold out, though. Oh, We've damn. already filled all of the spots, and we have a waiting list. But sadly, ever since COVID started, um, Pokemon hasn't been allowing us to increase our pre-release quantities. So oh. we're stuck at 20 people. We've been stuck Damn. at 20 people for two years. That sucks. So it's just a bummer because, I mean, we easily get 20 people a week for our Sunday Pokemon. So it's like, I think we probably could have got 40 people for, for this Pokemon event. But Oh, man. Probably easily. It is what it is. You know, we'll be doing two. So we'll be doing that one. Um, you know, honestly, I don't know what the date on our other one is off the top of my head. Um... But we'll be Ooh. doing one at the Kipling store as well, which will probably honestly be this on Saturday weekend? or Tuesday. It's this weekend, yeah. Okay. Um, as I have to point down, just to make sure you know, this weekend? This one? Dis- right here? Dissin? Right here? This uh, one? Dissin. Okay, so let's Dissin? see. Pokemon. Okay, so the one for... Okay. Excuse that me. That makes sense. So the one up north is on the 15th, which is a um, Sunday, and the one at the Kipling store is on the 14th, which is a Saturday, but it looks like that one hasn't quite filled up, but is nearly filled up, so, hmm. yeah. Well, there you go. Get into that one if you if you missed out on the first one. Oh, they might have moved some kits over to the uh, the north store to accommodate for our wait list, actually, so I think it is full. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Yeah. Anyhow, so. <laughs> hey, that's how it goes, man. It is what it is. Um, you know, there's just a lot of demand for that stuff right now, and you know, this looks to be a pretty good set. Uh, they're introducing some new stuff, so I'm excited to open some. So, oh, speaking of open stuff, we were gonna open a pack each of that oh, new yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. So this Yu-Gi-Oh, where's the, uh, which dragon is the pull? You know, honestly, I, I haven't looked at this set at all. Here, if you want to start cracking that open. It's called Tactical Masters. Tactical Masters. Tactical I'm, Masters. I miss hey, it. come on, Tactical Masters. Let's go. Let's ride. I want to see more of the uh, the ocean ones. Mm. Those were dope. Yeah, we have a lot of that. You should just buy it. You should buy some of that. <laughs> if you want to see more, I just want to see them. I don't want to buy them. Ah, you should buy them. Come I'm on. Sorry, I ah, don't, don't be like I that. I don't even have enough time to play the card games I want to play. Okay, so the Droll and Lockbird is definitely the big hit because that that one gets played a lot. Like whenever we have that card, it sells out. Um, but there's a couple hundred and fifty dollar cards. It looks like some collector Sweet. rares. Um, damn, dude. There's actually a decent amount of valuable stuff in here. I'm 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 actually curious as to to why. <laughs> yeah, it, it must just be really hard because there's oh there's no starlight rares. This is a collector rare set, which is interesting because 
normally your like most valuable type of rare is a starlight rare but in this set it's the collector rare which is like um it's like embossed it's got like a texture to it oh and that's the only way to tell but they go for doubles but i think a lot of this a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh is reprints so this is they just reprint the same shit with slightly different uh variants i'm going to take from the left side you can grab from whatever side you want oh take the right I do like their pack art. I mean, honestly, I feel like it's finding more identity than whenever I remember. I don't know. Yu-Gi-Oh is weird. It's I remember it when I was a kid, but just barely. Yeah, I, like I, I tried to get into it for a hot minute, but then, uh, then I stopped. All right, let's see. Because <laughs> literally nobody else I knew was doing it, like anything with it. So I was like, well, I can't play a card game by myself. This dude's cool. Nazuki. Quick booster. Fair Welcome Labyrinth, Runic Slumber, Reckless Greed, and Labyrinth oh. Archfiend. Hojo, the whatever warrior. Oh, that's cool. I mean, the art is sick, like, no doubt. That, and it's kind of all over the place, like, anime style, where they, you know, some are like. Oh, Cosmic chibi. Cyclone. Ah, oh, sick. I think that was one of them. Kind of bigger ones. It is, but the collector rare is the version you want. That's the embossed oh, one. Oh, I so got it's you. Like, this one is just the normal version of it. I you got want you. The, you want the fancy pants version. See, there was my good one, I bet. The Hojo, the... Hojo, Jojo! Hojo! <laughs> Raf actually just started watching the Powerpuff Girls. Like, I'm opening another one. Like, you can't I randomly me. picked it one day. I was like, okay, fine, just watch something different. Here, watch this. And, oh my gosh, now him and Saber are just... In love with the Powerpuff Girls. They're, Powerpuff Girls is awesome. Dude, Julie's I've, recently discovered it as well. Yeah? Yeah. I've been loving it. I was I, like, yes. It's, I just... <laughs> it's so fun. <laughs> it's such a good show. It's just fucking awesome. Okay, I gotta stop. I'm just gonna keep... Oh, I, I do like the art, though. Like, yeah, they've so, got a good the anime really style. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but like with every card game, there's a good handful that are like, what the... F Hell, were you thinking? True. I'm like, who hired this person? We're just gonna let's just yeah. Oh, there's the labyrinth, but like the not collector rare version, which is not what we want. But what if I really want the collector rare? I version? want the collector rare version. That's the cool one. This one's not cool. I don't think I got. I didn't get nothing. I got some kind He's of got a noise. Buster Baron. Yeah, the old Buster Baron. Turd. Oh, Buster Baron sucks, dude. <laughs> Listen, I just want to... You just want to keep going, don't you? I'm going to keep going. You oh can't my gosh. stop me. Well, what okay. do we got left to talk about? Uh, let's see. Oh, we... Last thing is uh, the question. What's the question of the week? The question. The question. It's 42. No, no, I will not make out with you. Damn it! Oh, sorry. That was like right into the mic. <laughs> I'll, try, I'll try to remember to turn that down. Yeah, right. People are just going to be listening oh. to this, just have their eardrums burst, then they're going to sue the shit out of us. Damn it. That's not what I meant to like, do. Like, can you go through a whole box of this without hitting a good card? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know uh, how Yu-Gi-Oh works. I never open it, but it's like, I just really want... I've never opened a good Yu-Gi-Oh card. Like, I open a pack here or there, and it's always ass, like, every single time. And I'm like, okay. Mm. Damn, you, like, burned through the half of this box already. Well, yeah, I mean, we're we're opening packs, my guy. Like, well, I we're, mean, we're looking. I'm, we're, I'm a little afraid to open one now. Open then, one, then dude. If, then if I get the pull, I'm going to be sad. No, no, I'll you be happy. Uh, I don't care if you open it. I I was there. I haven't even seen. Okay, Droll Lock Bird. I mean, I think some of these are decent cards just in general, but everybody wants the fancy versions. Well, of course you do. Everybody wants fancy. Everybody wants the fancy I'm go to the bottom. Girl. Ugh. No, our who knows if it's it. the real bottom or not, but come on, you does. got this. So, I got a uh, mad marquis bear blocker. And <laughs> what <laughs> we're just opening cards, but nobody else gets to see them. <laughs> Don't worry, they're not any good ones. This is just for me at Dang this it. point. Yeah, no kidding. Sorry. So, question of the week question of the week was. If you had to move to a country tomorrow, which one would it be? Norway or Italy? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to lie. I'm actually extremely shocked to see the result. 
Yeah. How did it go? Italy is at 33% and Norway is at 67. Wrong. Yeah. That's yep. what's up. Y'all are wrong. Y'all finally voted with me. I don't I feel I, so honored. I don't understand. That doesn't even, why Norway? People are like, oh, I like metal music. It's like you can listen to that <laughs> in fucking Italy when you're on the <laughs> boat in the Mediterranean. Dude. Wa rock hard abs, <laughs> washerboard style. All right? Oh, oh. Did you get the collector rare? No. Isn't Wait. it? Is it? No, no, just normal foil. It's a good one. That's not a normal foil. This is a normal foil. It's only highlighting certain stuff. Yeah, but you'd see it. Oh, it's, I see it's what you're saying. It's textured. Like, saying. it would be textured. Damn it, that one got me good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's what Yu-Gi-Oh does. It just fucking burns you. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, bitch. <laughs> Why you like this, Yu-Gi-Oh? Why don't you just love me? The labyrinth setup. This was a labyrinth setup. That's what this whole box was. There's two packs left if you're going to get one. Okay, uh, we also had somebody actually comment and said, I wouldn't mind moving to Norway, but it would have to be on April 9th. I don't understand. Uh, I assume they have something going on before April 9th. True. So, you know, afterwards, fine. All right, but this box was a complete fucking bust, as far unless. as I can tell, by all, intent <laughs> by, by all measures of my own... Uh, something, something. I get the feeling that was the one that was supposed to be the shiny or embossed or whatever, but it wasn't. No. 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 I didn't get any double rares. Oh, wait. These are all rares, aren't they? I'm a... Whatever. Just so confused by you. And then there's ultra rares, That's, too. We didn't even get an ultra rare. <laughs> Oh, wait, did we? I don't know. There's ultimate rares. I don't know. Oh Fucking Yu-Gi-Oh's weird, dude. Yu-Gi-Oh's got some weird shit going on. We just smashed that whole box. Yeah, I don't... Great job. I don't think we did good. No, <laughs> I don't think we did either. <laughs> I'm not um, sure. <laughs> we'll figure that out later. But moving on to the newest question. Newest question. And yes, the answer is... This is the Ernest TV show. How nice of you to notice. <laughs> I actually just got it today, and I haven't been able to watch any of it yet. <laughs> but I can't wait. <laughs> okay, so there's a uh, there's a there's like a twenty dollar ultra rare. Uh, ooh ooh, did yeah. we get it? Well, let's see. There's runic tip, runic fountain, oh, and then a Hugin. The we got to, we got two Hugins. Hugin, Hugin, Hugin. We did. Yeah, dude. Well, good job, us. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. Give me that Hugin. Let's I got see. a friend named Dugan. But yes, the the new question. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I keep getting distracted. What? <laughs> oh yeah. What? Why? Is the best classic puzzle game. Mm. We're talking like 16 bit and before. Yes. You can't go past it. No portals. No. I don't know. Hot shot. But we've set up some. We've set up some good. So the, the 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 answers that we're gonna put in the poll, right? Are we gonna put all of those answers in the poll? Yeah, I am concerned about the last one though. Okay. You'll see why. Oh, okay, okay. Let's Poyo see. Poyo. Poyo Poyo. It's great. It's Freaking. a Doctor Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. It's uh, Kirby Avalanche. Poyo Poyo is your best friend. Dude, Poyo Poyo is so good. And then they mixed it with another brand, and it's been kicking ass as well. And that would be Tetris. Oh, Whoa. the team up. Damn, between Team Poyo Poyo and Tetris. That was fucking genius, by the way. Yeah, whoever thought of that was super smart. I like it. I like it a lot. So, and those aren't your only two. You got three left. Minesweeper. Oh, uh, from, so good. From back in the day, you got to pay attention to the numbers. and oh, I don't think... Did you ever get I, good at it? I got really good at it, but I don't think I ever won. Really? Like a really hard one, because I started doing it at like 100 or something. Oh, Munin. Or whichever one. Munin, not Hugin. Like a couple hundred or something. I can't remember now what the sizes were, but it was like the bigger ones. Yeah, like a 10 by 10, because it was like a grid. Yeah. Yeah. I loved those, though. Those were so good. And then Super good. Solitaire. Fantastic. Which was on like every iPod touch and like up. They even started putting it on like the minis and shit. True. 
Or no, they didn't even like the color ones. It's a classic. Classic game. One of the greatest. Uh, and then your last option, Other. Yeah, you got to tell us another one. If you can think of a better classic. A classic. Like, not some bullshit, like, little half-ass answer. Like, <laughs> a classic puzzle game that's better than any of the ones that we named. Like, like Dr. Mario Tetris. Yeah, Dr. Mario's good. Or Dr. Mario Tetris. Yeah. yeah. Dang it, and then I had another one, but then I forgot it. Or no. Uh, Othello? Oh, Othello? Othello? Yeah, Othello's great. Othello, it's like where you like have to... So you have your, your, your black little dots and your white little dots, and you're trying to take over rows by capping them. So you cap the end of the row with a black dot. So you'll put a black dot on one end and say there's white on the middle. You'll put a black dot on the other end and you capture all of those and they turn black. So you're trying to like on this grid oh. capture as many as you can. Is it is a kind of like dots, but on speed? Yes, but I don't know what dots is, but yes. I think it's just a thing that every child that had to go to church every weekend learned is just like you draw out these little dots in a grid and mm. then... You know, you fill in a line, they fill in a line. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. eventually whoever closes off a section gets that section. Yeah, they put their initial in there or whatever. Yeah, yeah. so whoever had the most squares at, or at the end won. Yes. That is true. That is true. We had two We had two good hits out of this box. There was a, uh, a $20 card and a $14 card. But mm. not, a, not a killer box by any means. Um, there might be a little bit more... A little bit more money in here, but I don't think so. I think, uh, I think for the most part, it was ass. Just a big stinky ass. Yeah. That's okay. But out of those uh, classics, which one are you going to pick? <laughs> I'm still looking at these cards. Sorry. <laughs> uh, which one am I going to pick? Yeah, oh, you got to pick dude. one. Uh, yeah, Poyo Poyo. Suck it. Ooh. Easy. I knew you were going to say Poyo Easy, Poyo. dude. Like, hands down. That's definitely your Poyo Poyo is your jam. Easy. It's not just about speed. It's also about thinking ahead and reacting. Because in Tetris, it's just like, go as fast as you can. Yeah, match these shapes. Match these shapes. But Poyo Poyo is like, you got to set up a combo. Somebody's going to send some fucking little Poyos your way. You're going to send some back over there. You're trying to, like, save up the combo. But if they block it, then you got to break out. That shit is fucking intense. It feels like you're playing a game with a person, not just against a computer. That's true. And the computers are not forgiving at all. any of those. At all. Like, you have to just... You gotta be a pro. Either you could do it or you fucking can't. <laughs> yeah. Like, there's no in between. If he dies, he dies. He dies. Yeah, so. Ugh. That's it. I feel. I don't know what I want for this one. My my exact judgment. I've been going back and forth between our, really our four picks. Like, Puyo Puyo is amazing. Tetris kind of feels like. The easy answer. What became, yeah, like your expectation of a puzzle game minesweeper was just is fucking everywhere but it was like a good thinker because kind of got to the point where most puzzle games were just do something something else will happen this one you actually just had time to th be like oh there's three well i mean you were being timed like the had, whole time i know but like you're 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 right it wasn't like a constant yeah, action it's not kind like, of go, thing go, go, you go, could go, take go, your go. time you're like whereas in tetris you don't have a choice it's yeah. as fast as the computer's moving yeah so it's Sure. It's kind of a, I don't know. That does feel like that would be a really rare experience for most games now. Yes. That's just weird. That's really weird to think about. Yeah. Having to go from basically board game, video games, to what they are. That's okay. Dude, it's insane. Video games are nutty. Talking about board games, and then Solitaire comes out, and it's like, fuck. I love Solitaire. That one's a great one, too. The, the old. The but, old like Windows one, when if you want it, just goes whoosh, whoosh, cascades all the. <laughs> yeah, that shit was awesome, bro. Oh man, it's the best feeling that in the world. Feeling was incredible. Whoever programmed that was a god, legendary. Genius. That guy was like, we gotta have a closer. Yeah. You gotta have some sort of like windscreen. You can't People just like, be like you What do you mean, Jerry? <laughs> you? What do you mean a windscreen? If you win, you win. If you lose, you lose. And he's like, No, you fucking fools! We have to give them something. Like it's the same dude who did the Peggle 
ending, you know, and it's like all the rainbows and shit flashing. Oh, yeah. When you beat a Peggle level. That's so good, especially if you hit all the optional, like green ones. And... That shit feels mm. good, and it's like, ultra mega fucking suck it. Did it. You did it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's a good candidate right there, Pebble. Or yeah. Peggle. Yeah, there you go, Peggle. Throw that one in there, you fucking cowards. Hmm. God dang it. I'm trying to think of even another, <laughs> like, just great one. What, ah, like I an a great know. ending scene? I mean, yeah. RPGs probably have the most memorable ones because you see them so many times. Ba 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 ba. That but, one does. That one always feels good. That one is a classic. But out of these ones, uh, I might have to. Actually, I'm gonna go with Minesweeper. Sure. It just feels like it's. Just feels right. Yeah. It just feels right. It's just something correct about mm. picking Minesweeper. And mm-hmm. It's. I don't know. We'd like to hear your it's, votes. Yeah, it's true. Well, we're going to put up a poll, so do that. Yes. Yeah. Or, you know, fill in the other. Correct. You don't have to. But yeah. you can if you want. Yeah, do what you want. You're your own free person. That's right. And that's really all we wanted to tell you today. Amen. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Just cut these cards in half with my hand. Oh God. They just like shoot out for no reason also. Just like any kung fu movie, you smash something and it just it fucking explodes. Yeah, exactly. Just blood sprays out. It's just Yu-Gi-Oh! packs just fly out of it. All right, official sign off. Official sign off. Uh...